Well, the hot steamy weather is moving in this weekend and it can mean trouble when it comes to your hair, but maybe the wet look is a solution for you. Local 4 Style editor John Jordan is here with some great ideas. Take us through all of this. I'm still catching my breath a little bit. I know. We're both like, everyone over here was like, <laughs> okay. So wet hair, people think, well, that's casual and messy. It can be for special occasions and to help us think this through differently is my good friend Amy from Luigi Bruni Salon in Birmingham. So let's take a look at Erin here. She has thick wavy hair. The idea here is for special occasion. It doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't have to be precise, right? Right. So you slicked it back and? We put it in, turn it around, put it in a ponytail. Okay, you braided, braided it. it. Yep. Okay. And, and then. Anybody could do that. Yeah, and then if you want a second look, you can just wrap it around. And throw it in. And then you've got a nice messy bun, which is always cute. And that's the idea, is that it's not, especially in the summer, it's not supposed to look overdone, right? right? Okay, let's take a look now here at Jackie. Um, blunt hair. People don't think they can do anything with gel or right. wet, but that's right. not the case, right? Right, and since it's basically in, I just threw some missed it with water and a little bit of spray wax and did a little comb and so jennifer lawrence does this look a lot on the red carpet this is so this is something that you would you would recommend that people think about a look like this for a fancy dinner party yeah. or something super super chic right yeah and it's easy so speaking of super chic, my friend F Sherry Finsilver here, um, she wears her hair slicked and gelled and wet all the time, whether she's working out or whether she's at the country club or doing a lot of her charity work. Um, so what's involved in something like this and, and what are the benefits, Amy? Well, you could, I mean, it could work with anything, especially with the gel that we use. I mean, it's short, so she can just use her hands and. I mean, it can go whichever way. I mean, and you so can use it with coarse, I mean, thick, any unruly hair, whatever. You just make it, it look like it's effortlessly messy. And it's a great look all the time, all right? All the time, yeah. But you still look polished. Ex yeah, you still Trust look me, polished. Trust me, Sherry Finsilver is polished. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can attest to that fact. <laughs> Braids, not just for women. No, with men, too. So let's look at our friend Harry, better known as Prince Harry. Uh, what did you do with Harry? Well, with Harry, we just threw in some rock hard gel, missed it with water, and um, did a light, loose braid, like messy, and just threw it up, and with a little top knot. That's very and cool. And, but with guys, yeah. it's not supposed to look too Perfect. precise, right? right. Yeah. It's supposed to look a little bit more uncontrived. Well, I think that all of these looks that you've done here are great options for special occasion dressing, but simplified hairstyle. Absolutely. I mean, it looks cool, but wet and gelled and produced hair keeps you cooler while you're looking cool. Absolutely, and what I loved about the braid too is putting it up, because you don't always want that hair all over the back of your neck either. So these, these are great. You look good, but it's easy, and you don't look like you're trying to. Yeah, people have to perfect. rethink fancy hair that's high maintenance. Exactly. Look who's talking, the slick bun girl. <laughs>